Uh, time for our musical act tonight. This man left behind one of the most iconic bands in British pop history to storm back to the top of the charts as a solo artist. Please, well, he's not really a solo artist, but anyway. Uh, please welcome Noel Gallagher. Here he is. Hello, sir. How are you? Very well. You perch me in there. There you go. Sorry, I, I stupidly said you were a solo artist, but of course you're not. You're in a band. No, I'm not. Oh, <laughs> I'm a solo artist. I've just got a band's name. <laughs> it's Noel Gallagher. It's High Flying Birds. Yeah, but that's just the name of my act. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a solo artist. But it's actually, it is all about you. Always. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, uh, congratulations. Uh, went to number one. Which yeah. Was well, better than number two. Yeah. <laughs> it must be gratifying. Well, it is, yeah. I mean, you know, it's, if there's a chart, you might as well be top of it. <laughs> <laughs> These are wise words. <laughs> it was great. I went, see, it went to number one uh, the day that um, City beat United 6-1. And I've got to say, I, yeah, unbelievable day. <laughs> and, uh, I was more, I got, I was watching the game on the phone call at the same time, and I was like, brilliant. <laughs> 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 and, uh, so it's kind of like the day it was one of the best days I've ever had in my entire life. Oh, that's very good. Yeah. Now, do you guys know each other? Do any of you know each other? I've met. We've met. I've, I've met, met a few times. Yeah. Just met, met Martin before. Yes. I've never. No. I know of these two. I've yeah. seen his. I've seen his. I know where she's off Doctor Who. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen his, I actually seen his film once when uh, I was, uh, you know, 300, and I did what most men do. I just kind of sat watching it going. <laughs> well, I go to the gym. Because, yeah. <laughs> Jared, you're, you're a fan of Knowles, aren't you? Big time. Oh! Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> is there a story behind that? Why do I you do know, know that, at my, that my birthday. Did you know at my birthday I sang Wonderwall? Yeah, I did know. Oh, you did know that? Yeah, yeah. Oh, is that what yeah, that is? That's okay. what I'm saying. Jesus God. Ah. It's like pulling teeth. <laughs> yeah. well, you're a fan. What could be the link? Oh, yeah. <laughs> It's my song, man. It's my song. I love it. You know, it's, it's no, 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 no. I think you'll find it's my song. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, didn't you become a new dad at the same time the, the, the record on was the, finished? Well, on, on the first day of recording, I got to the studio. I'd had, like, about a year off, and, um, I got to the studio, and it's just about to, uh, put a bass down on the first track, and the phone went, and it was Sarah, and she said, I've got news. And I was like, oh. <laughs> I didn't know what it was, you know what I mean? I didn't know what it was. It could be anything. And uh, she said, I'm pregnant. And I was like, wow. Right, well, I better get a crack on then, do you know what I mean? <laughs> and, uh, it took exactly, obviously, nine months for, the, for my son Donovan to arrive. And I finished my album just at the same time, which goes to prove the theory that they're equally as important to each other. <laughs> <laughs> She doesn't agree with that. <laughs> no. <laughs> and nor will he. But they must be. They're the, only, they're the only two things that take nine months. And is it hard to juggle kind of being a new dad with being a kind of rock and roll superstar? It get, um, <clears throat> it's amazing that the more kids you have, the more work you want to do. That's all right. <laughs> 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 there, is, there is that, you know, probably manager going, oh, we, we have no, we've never been to Mogadishu, have we? <laughs> <laughs> we need to go there. We need to play for the Tamil Tigers. <laughs> They need to sing Wonderwall. <laughs> <laughs> Is that why you recorded some of the album in LA? Well, I've got an American producer and they don't, they don't like being in England. Oh, okay. You know, he, he came to England once and he hated it because it was in... It was at this time of the year. And I think he walked, like, in a block around his hotel and he didn't see a Starbucks and the sun was... You know, he's from LA. He hated it. He got straight like back it. on the plane and he's like, you want to work with me, you work in LA? And I was like, <laughs> I've got to go worse places to go and work. <laughs> yeah. You know I, mean? I like palm trees. They're like, lovely, aren't they? Do you like it? I love LA. I love it. And this time round, uh, you, you met, I hear you met a very important person, a VIP. I, oh, yeah. Yeah. I was, cause I was staying in the same hotel. I'd been there for about three months, on and off. And uh, I was walking through the reception one morning to go to work and the manager came out and he said, Mr Gallagher, can I just have a word? And I was like, oh, what? And he said, in the office. And I was like, oh, shit. So I kind of think, I wonder what, I've been smoking in the room again. <laughs> and, uh, he said, oh, I don't want to alarm you. He said, but you may get a visit over the weekend from the Secret Service. 
And at that point, I took my sunglasses off and was like, what? And he said, the Secret Service, I don't want to alarm you, but they're going to pay you a visit. And I was like, the Secret Service? What Secret Service? And he went, the American Secret Service. And I'd just got a computer for Christmas, that previous Christmas, <laughs> and I kind of hack away at it, trying to work it, and I'm kind of doing this, and I'm thinking, oh, I sent something. <laughs> <laughs> Someone in one of those like Thunderbirds. <laughs> big <screen laughs> What's that? <laughs> and uh, I was like, the Secret Service, and they said, well, you know, um, they're coming in with a very special guest, and uh, he usually takes up all the top floor. He said, but I've told him there's a celebrity here from England, and I can't move him. And I was like, oh, right, brilliant. <laughs> and I said, Who's the, who is it then? And he said, well, I can't say. And I was going, oh, come on, who is it? Is it Obama? <laughs> you know, is it Bill Clinton? Is it Elton John? <laughs> and, uh, he said, it's the king of Tonga. <laughs> so, so there was just me and him on the whole of this floor and the CIA. When I finally got to meet the king, now I don't know whether I watch too much Scooby-Doo, which I probably do. <laughs> but I thought he'd have a grass skirt on. <laughs> And, I, and he kind of got into the lift when I was there, and he's like, some guy from Buckinghamshire, he went, oh, hello, you're the rock star. And I was like, uh, what are the drums? <laughs> How did you know he was a king, did he tell you? Did he say, I'm the king of Tonga? He had a t-shirt on, one of those t-shirts. Yeah. <laughs> There's two security guards that said, I'm with the king of Tonga. <laughs> and, uh, so listen, what track are you uh, singing for us tonight? I'm going to sing for you if I had a gun off my new record. Oh, right. very good. Is this the one that your son has done the alternative lyrics to? Yes. Yes. It, the, the lyrics, quite brilliantly, go like, um, if I had a gun, I'd shoot a hole into the sun. His words that he made up were, you know, if I had a gun, I'd, I'd shoot a hole into your bum. <laughs> <laughs> Which is kind of... I see a future there. Yeah. <laughs> Chip of the old block. <laughs> Something, that's for sure. Okay, so uh, if you want to uh, go over there and I get ready, uh, Noel Gallagher, off you go. <laughs>